Hey guys, Miss Wright here. I'm going to go over some addition strategies that we use in third grade. Um, and we have basically two categories. The first one is breaking the numbers apart. And we have kind of two options with breaking the numbers apart. You can either add by place value or you can add one number in parts. So what does that look like? I'm going to show you what those look like with the same equation. 349 plus 175. A is breaking the numbers apart by place value. I can either do this vertically or horizontally. And I'm doing the same thing. So I'm going to do both just so you see what it looks like. Okay. I can start with the hundreds, tens, or ones. It doesn't matter. Um, when I do it horizontally, I always just start with the hundreds because that's the way the number is read. 349 plus 175. Okay. Over here, and I didn't leave myself enough space. Let me scoot it over a little bit. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just doing vertically, okay? So 300 plus 100 is 400. 40 plus 70 is 110. 9 plus 5 is 14. Down below, I'm still writing horizontally, 400. And I'm putting all of my sums together, all this in one equation. 400 plus 110 plus 14. I total 500. 10 and 10 is 20. And then I only have four left. 524. What that looks like in vertical, breaking apart by place value. Uh, this time I'm just going to start with my ones. I can start with my hundreds. It doesn't matter. 9 plus 5, again, was 14. This is 40, not just 4. 40 plus 70 is 110. 300 plus 100 is 400. And then I'm adding together my place values. I have four total ones. I have two total tens and five hundreds to be 500. 24. That is the first of breaking apart the numbers, either adding by place and now adding one number in parts. So this is adding one number in parts. Same equation. I'm going to start with 349 and I'm going to add this number in pieces, right? First, I'm going to add 100, then I'm going to add 70. Then I'm going to add five, but I'm starting with this whole number. You can use a number line to show this addition if that helps you create a visual. Or you can use the equations. 349 plus 100 gets me to 449. Add 70. I can make one big jump or I can do small parts counting up from 40. That's going to get me to 519. And then 519 plus 5. I can count up from 19 to get 524. There is strategy B, which is adding one number in parts. You keep this whole first number the same and you add the other one in parts and you're adding by parts could be different you can add in smaller pieces you don't just have to do the hundreds tens ones like that and then the last strategy is changing the number to make it easier so i'm going to show that in a separate video because i only have five minutes of screen casting so i'm going to go back and show this second strategy in a second video Hope this helped you.